So it's like each time I open my mouth, each time I pick up a microphone and hit the record button, I'm usually trying in some degree to say what I feel needs to be said, or trying to at least think of what it is. What it, I'm constantly trying to think what is it that really needs to be said. And unfortunately, most of it is like all kinds of journal, you know, people, some people, they're writers, or they're not even published authors, that they have stacks and stacks of private journals over decades of writing their thoughts down. And that's how it kind of is. What? So the question remains, what the hell is it that humanity really needs to hear in a permanent manner because we know we're here temporarily until otherwise noted we are temporary beings our lives last a few decades and then it's snuffed out and it's gone poof and what we can leave behind the thing that we can leave behind best is thoughts. I mean, we can leave behind certain physical objects and they can end up deteriorating, rusting, rotting, evaporating. But thoughts can remain as long as there's means of recording them. Thoughts can remain un undiminished centuries after you're dead then that's so that's it. what it was it what is it we really need that really needs to be said and if you know it's like part of me thinks if I can say what really needs to be said really just to, 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 to come out with it and and here it is this is well, what the way people think of the Bible as the book it's the most important book but whatever it is if you could say whatever is really most necessary for the human species to to have to think about then in a sense you can die saying well I, you know I can I can be content to die knowing that what needs to be said I've said and that if I lived for centuries or thousands of years more it wouldn't really make any particular difference in this regard if I've already said what needs to be said in a sense you can like die satisfied that's it it's about satisfaction you can you can die satisfied you can be content with the temporary nature of your existence if you know that you're leaving behind what's really significant what really needs to be left behind you know, you can feel that you've accomplished something, and you can let go. You can say, "I accomplished. I said what needs to be said. And I, now I can, you know, accept going into oblivion because I know I'm leaving behind what's necessary." What is it then? I have to ask myself that I really want to leave behind to humanity after. I no longer exist. What is it that humanity really needs to consider? What is it that humanity really needs that human beings as individuals and as collective societies really need to pay attention to? Well, at this moment, I'm going to just off the top of my head at this moment, as it seems to me, considering that question what does humanity and what do human beings really need to think about because people do spend their lives avoiding thinking about the things that they really need to be thinking about and people spend their lives believing in a bunch of nonsense so I will say number one number one I think people need to stop believing in nonsense
people need to stop avoiding reality St people need to stop avoiding the truth as long as people avoid the truth as long as people spend their lives trying to step around the truth sidestepping and avoiding it staying out of the out of the spotlight of truth then what they're left with is non-truth and people end up living lives that are based on lies because as long as people are willing or unwilling to face the truth as long as people are eager to shun reality they're going to naturally be more willing to accept bullshit nonsense untruths and lies that's the way it works if people were not willing to accept lies and nonsense and bullshit then their lives would be focused on finding the truth but as long as people are headed in the opposite direction as long as people see truth coming down the street and they turn and run the other direction the only <laughs> the other direction is is toward lies and so people live li people live lives and we have a society based on lies because people are simply unwilling to face the fucking truth so that's number one I think people need to face the truth I think the fact that humanity surfs along on a great big tidal wave of lies is really bad really destructive and really the source of most of our problems so just fucking tell the fucking now let's okay I'll take the expletive take the expletive